I'm Community Joe. And I'm Jacqueline Lady. And welcome, welcome to, to Monday Morning Update. Update. Welcome to the Monday Morning Update. Jackie? Good morning, Joe. What's up, buddy? Um, you know. Okay. How was your week? It was great. It was good. I got a few new buyers, so that's exciting. Woo! We definitely have some work cut out for me. I'm searching for new homes for them. So yep. That's wonderful. Good. Um, what about you? Amazing. Yeah. Yep. Great week. <laughs> so what do we got for today? So today's topic is what first time home buyers wish they knew before starting to look for a home. Uh, so what we did was we put a survey together, we interviewed a few first time home buyers, asking yeah. them what they kind of wish they knew going into um, looking for a home with their real estate agent. And we just think this is a really great topic to discuss with you guys, um, just to avoid you know frustration on your end um so i think it's just something really good to know and it's just a few good good pointers that we have yeah i love love this topic <laughs> all right and i know you did a lot of work with your survey yeah um but it was amazing it's not only great for um uh, you know shoppers mm -hmm. it was it was really eye-opening to me yeah you know so it's great right. for everybody because mm -hmm. i learned a lot um mm -hmm. And, and and I thought I think it's helpful for agents and you know people shopping for a home yeah and I think it's also important for the agent to sit down with first-time home buyers too and just you know they have to they should go through the whole process with you guys and you know see if you guys have any questions and it's just something that agents should know also yeah so, absolutely yeah all right um, all right, so our first person um, from Lorenz, he said, I wish I demanded the most out of my home inspection. Our inspector didn't go into the crawl space of the home and it turned out that I needed tens of thousands of oh dollars of work to be done on something that should have been found. Wow, okay. So this is why inspections are so, so, so important. And I know nowadays some people are waiving their inspection. Do not waive your inspection. Yep. Do not, do because not. then it's going to cost you money if for some reason something mm. comes up later on. Yep. Do not do it. Yeah. Um, you're paying this inspector, you're paying what, $500 yep. for yep. an inspection? That's the going rate. So you know what? That's what they're there for. You use their time. You make sure they go through every nook and cranny in that house. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, and the other thing that hit me here was, um, as an agent, one, you're always referring an inspector. Yep. Right? True. Most of the shoppers get the inspector from their real estate agent. Exactly. And then two, like on inspection day, your real estate agent plays an intricate role because mm -hmm. the, the clients don't know what's supposed to go on. Exactly. They don't know exactly what entails yeah. the inspection, but we do. Mm -hmm. You know, so you should be there to help guide them. Yeah, you know, and be like, "Hey, dude, you missed this," or "Hey, you're gonna go up there." Yeah, you know, so um, big deal. Great, great, great. Yeah. Great feedback. Thank you, Lorenz. <laughs> uh, so the next is from Michael. Anything can break at any time in the home when you move in. We had a backup pipe flood. Don't overextend <clears throat> money wise. Yes. Yeah. Big deal. So again, be careful, yep. you know, things can even happen after inspection, even things look great, they monitor it, but you know, some things happen after you move in and some things have to get fixed and done. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for a home, if you have a certain budget in mind. Stay within the budget. Yes. Don't exactly. overextend yourself. By the way, your agent and your lender should be guiding you that way from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. obviously, we know this. Yeah. Buying a home is scary. So you want to have something a little left over mm -hmm. just in case. Yeah. Um, next one from Joe. Unforeseen costs around closing. Lawyers, inspection fees, our mortgage broker broke it down for us, but we were shocked at how much liquidity 
we needed to cover beyond yeah. our down payment. Yeah, it's scary. So this is another thing you want to keep in mind for closing costs. Um, a lot of times the attorney will roughly go over with you and the mortgage broker. So just keep that in mind also. Yeah. Ask them for a rough breakdown cost of everything, yeah. just so you know going in how much these closing costs might be. Yeah, it's very difficult for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah. It's very difficult for the attorneys and the lenders to know precisely what you're gonna need. Mm -hmm. So they really should give you a good range um, and keep it a little top heavy right. so that you're prepared. But until you get to the closing table, you're not gonna know. I, I you know, yeah. I remember like, oh, yeah. okay, more? <laughs> oh, okay, more? You know, and they gave us an amount to come with, you know, and told us to bring six blank checks, mm -hmm. you know? Um, wow. And yeah, and you know, I remember my we were like sweating, you know, sitting there. So, but they should be able to give you a good, good range. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's it goes apart without overextending yourself as well. Yeah. Um, up next from Jen, how dependent the closing date was on the seller as ours needs to find another home before we could move in. That's another biggie. Yeah. When is the seller looking to actually move? When do they want to close? Do they need to find something before yep. they move out? Yeah. And that could add a few months up to you might want to move in within six weeks. Right. But they need three months. Yeah. So that's something to really ask your agent about. Yeah. Um, and make sure that their timing works out with your timing. Yep. There's a lot of contingencies. Yes. that go into making a deal. Um, and in today's market, the sellers have all the leverage. Mm -hmm. Very true. <laughs> they have all the leverage. Yeah, so um, you're really... You need to meet their needs. Yeah. <laughs> so be prepared for that. You wanna buy a house. <laughs> in today's market, it is about uh, the seller's emotions. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. pretty much it. Um, up next from Mike. I wish I was told about appraisals in general and how if they are much lower than your offer price, you need to pay for that difference in price to the bank. Oh my goodness. This is a big one, guys. This is scary. Yes. Yeah, this is terrible. Because, I mean, you're like, you're like in contract. I know, so it's scary. Yeah, you had the inspection. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. always nervous about their appraisal. Yeah. Um, but that's what we're there for. That's what we're here for. We're, yeah, you know, to is... help guide you. Um, but yeah, you should be familiar with what an appraisal is um, as a first time home buyer. So make sure you ask your real estate agent about appraisals and how they work. Yeah. Um, if you're not sure about that. Two, two things for me from the buying side, I always talk about this when we're discussing an offer. Mm -hmm. I always discuss this before we yes. even put a number to paper. Yeah. Um, because it's a big deal. And then from the selling side, if I'm working as a listing agent, every agent that I speak to, before they send their offer to me, I want to know where their clients stand on the appraisal swing. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. You have to get it out there. You have to be open about it so that it's not a scary thing. It doesn't have to be scary. Yeah. We just need to know where everyone stands. It's correct. And listen, exactly. someone's going to offer X amount of dollars, but if they're not going to cover the appraisal, mm -hmm. then right. your offer is irrelevant. Yes. Just bid no a million. I know. You can as well. You can as well. You can as All right. What's next? Last but not least, do not go with a for sale by owner. I like this one. They have no idea what they're doing and are uneducated with the market. Yes. This is so important. This is why we are here. Do not go with someone for sale by owner because they don't have the knowledge that they think they have and they have no one to guide them. Right. So this one, Jerry? Jerry. Jerry. Hello, Jerry. So this one was, they had a, they were a buyer. Mm -hmm. They had an agent, right? Yep. And they were looking at a for sale by owner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, terrible. Correct. Terrible, for sale, yeah, terrible. Yeah, because yeah. they just don't know. They yeah. think they're, what you you think your house is worth so That's much tough. more money than it really is. You think your house is the best in the block, the yeah. best out of anyone. It's, you know, and it's, it's, that's not what it comes down to. So yeah. just make sure you just do, don't go by a for sale by owner. That's yes. the end of the game. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. And your agent, your buyer's agent 
should be guiding you that way. Yes, exactly. Hundred percent. So, and that's it. That's all right. All I love. I love this. Yeah. I think it's that's great. A lot of fun. Jackie was out in the field <laughs> with her notepad, asking questions, poking around, yep. getting information. <laughs> She gets the Pulse of the People Award this week. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks, Jackie. guys. Thank you, Good Joe. seeing you. We hope that everyone has a good week. Enjoy the rest of it with your loved ones. And we'll see everyone soon. Bye.